Hello everyone, so today I will be talking about my experience at the debating competition called IB Championship 2023 with the topic A World Divided. So I'll be telling you exactly what I've done today regarding this competition. So today I woke up around you know, 6 or 7 a.m. to revise some questions and important key terms like the, the study guide for the competition because the topics can vary and it's really unpredictable. So I spent the whole morning uh, looking through the literature section because um, that's the section I am afraid the most. So yes, we just uh, took a bus. We, I mean, we caught a bus to the Hanoi, which is the cap capital of the city and which is the location that the competition would be held and then we had lunch because the time that because um uh, because uh, right away the time that we got to their destination it was lunch time so we had some rice with soup shrimp some kind of seafood and then we went to their uh, competition destination as well and at that i made my t i met my teammate in uh, will be would be joining me in the debate round and his name is Bao Huang. So the truth is that our debate would have had actually three people because a debate we have three at least, at least three speakers in each team. But because one of my one of my teammates grandparents grand, grandpa had passed away so she wasn't able to go to the debate unfortunately that's kind of sad too and it somehow affected a lot our our um experience and our performance at the debate round so after the opening ceremony we will we would take the debate round first and then come to the ivy squad which we will do some online tests and quizzes to test our knowledge about the subjects uh, science technology uh, social studies and literature and uh, media so we have no idea what debate is before taking this competition because this is our first time and um the most the most um i mean the most knowledgeable in our team was not there and we just didn't know what's going on we don't know what to do next when we got to the room for debating ground to be take place so there i will be i will be taking part with another team and this debate will be divided into two signs the affirmative and the negative team and i remember the, the um this I will have two, two times to take part in this debate round, and the first time we will be, uh, we will be there. We were in the negative team, which I'm the most scared of because we have to make rebuttals, we have to make definition, and all of those things contributed to my phobia of being in the negative team. I just don't want to emphasize it, but this is the truth. So yeah. The first round, um, we just don't know. We just uh, didn't have. We have no idea what's going on, and like the opponents were so strong, they used so many powerful and so many persuasive arguments that, yeah, at the end of the round one, the opponent's team won, won, and our team lost. And uh, yeah, fortunately, unfortunately other second round we didn't win as well we were defeated even though that i i i, I totally believe that our speech our topic because um at that round i were in the affirmative team and our topic is about whether or not covid 19 exacerbated their inequalities in the world and i totally believe that this is kind of an easy task and because i've revived this i've gone through this so i totally believe in my ability to do this but somehow we just lost we did definitely lost even though that i believe we won so yeah we felt like really discouraged because we've lost all the rounds and didn't win anything but now come to the main part which 
is which was kind of happy for me today at least um so we went on to their second round which is the ib squad we would take a one hour i suppose yes one hour quizzes on their on to test our knowledge with a teammate so we just have two people there we've done all the quizzes and i suppose that we we made mistakes about five or six questions and yeah at the end of the course we actually ranked the eighth eighth team okay. and we also have a, sil a silver medal as well a gold medal i'm sorry a gold medal which i kind of proud of even though that is not really like a I, I see many of you, many of their teams there have a lot of cups like it's so amazing so so lucky of them and i have i actually really feel proud of what i've got here what i've achieved even though it's just really small contribution but i believe this will boost my self-confidence and through this competition it gained a lot of lessons a lot of mistakes a lot of valuable experience that i can use in the next in the next um in the next competition because this is just an experience we haven't done anything yet so yeah i am really proud of it and this is one of my achievements as well so i'll just hang up hang on there and thank you so much for watching my review my all my thoughts about this as well if you have no more questions just comment down below and by the way this is my uh candidate numbers is 111a so thank you so much for watching this if you have more questions about this competition or interested in it then remember to leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to check it out bye bye